It's June 3rd and guess what I was doing today? Trying to find a light fixture, but I ended up buying more plants. <laughs> Isn't that so normal for a gardener? I bought some raspberries. I paid a little extra, I paid about $11, but they should come up every year. So I bought these raspberry plants they had at uh, Home Depot and I bought some blueberries. So I have some big pots that there's some big onions in there, in these pots. And I'm just gonna plant these raspberries and blueberries in there. So guys, I bought these um, blueberries. I bought these blueberries at Home Depot yesterday for a little over $10. And they're legacy blueberries. I'm gonna do, containers because I've seen where you can do containers because that's what I have to do here for many reasons um, because one we have really horrible dirt and very little water so the containers help with the water wastage water is so expensive here in the southwest so it says water two to three times per week, but I'm planning on watering every day in the summer and then go to the two or three times a week when it's not as hot. I'm looking to see if it's a northern or a southern exposure plant. I would assume since I bought this in the southwest that they went with the southern. I'm hoping it doesn't say it on here anywhere. So, I, I hope it's southern because the southern strain, you want 200 hours or less of the chill time. That would be like below 30 degree temperature. And the northern strain, you would want 400, over 400 chill time or thereabouts. So since I'm doing container gardens, I'm just gonna put it at least in a 15 gallon size container. And we're gonna put half mushroom compost. And I'm gonna, I have some leaves. Actually they're pine needles, which are really acidic. I'm gonna mix throughout the mushroom compost and some of the dirt that I have around here. Then I bought this meter this meter and it's a moisture pH meter it's also a light meter so I'm excited about using this see it has a little dial on it so it can check the pH level very easily for me I'm excited about that then you don't have to use those paper strips so I'm gonna check the acidic level on this probably every month or every couple weeks in the summertime and then if it falls, if the acidic level is starting to um, diminish, I'm gonna use some vinegar, just some white vinegar to raise that pH level so that it's acidic. So we wanna keep these moist and I think I'm gonna put some wood chips on top of the, the dirt so that it retains the moisture. I also have some raspberries that I'm gonna be planting in the other pot. And I'm just gonna do the same thing as I'm doing with the blueberries. I'm gonna use some of those pine needles that I have for compost and kind of interweave some regular soil that I have around here and some mushroom compost. These are the pots I'm gonna use. This one has carrots in it and I have a lot of carrot seeds. This is starting to seed up. I really wanted to gather some carrot seeds but I really need this pot to plant these blueberries and then I have these onions. So we're going to dump these over and get this dirt and mix it up really good and they, these are also seeding up but I think I'm going to keep the tops and just see if I can seed these see if they're ready they're dry so we'll see what happens okay guys so I'm just gonna clip these off just with some regular scissors and just clip the heads of these off 
and then I'm gonna put them in a container and let them dry. These leaves held so that the dirt doesn't get so um, compacted at the bottom and then it helps with the drainage of the pot. So hey guys, I filled this up with dirt. Now I'm gonna put some more leaves on top of this. And then I'm gonna put another layer of dirt. This is Jimson. See, I got this 40 pound bag at Home Depot. It wasn't very expensive. I actually caught it on sale. And this will raise the acidic level in the pH of the soil so we're gonna put a little bit on the top where the roots are and that should help it to to um, start and germinate okay guys so I put this gypsum in here let's mix it up a little bit and that should help it So now we're just going to put the plant in there. Okay guys, so we're just going to take this out of the container. I kind of like to squeeze the sides and the bottom a little bit and it comes out really easy. And then I'm going to dig a hole. Dig a hole in there. Put it in there. I'm going to leave that just so that I have it for future reference. And then I'm going to fill this all the way up to the top. There we go. All I have to do is water it now. I planted my raspberries, guys. It's June 4th, 2022. Hey guys, so I'm gonna chop these carrots. I've decided I really wanna use this pot for my blueberries. I think this will be a good place to put them in, in this direct sun. So I'm just gonna chop these tops of these flowers off. And, um, Maybe they'll make seed. I'm gonna keep them anyway and plant them. Okay guys, so I filled this up with leaves. Now I'm gonna fill it up with dirt. Hey guys, I filled this up with dirt. And I have this, these um, leaves. Notice there's a lot of ants. <laughs> They're getting on me. But I'm gonna put these leaves. There's a lot of pine needles in these leaves. Ugh, I'm getting bit by ants. And I'm gonna just throw these leaves in here. And that's going to be really good for that. And then I'm going to fill it with this soil. Look all the jimson in that soil. That's going to be good for the pH level of this blueberry bush. Um, that will make it real acidic. Hey guys, I got my blueberries planted. It's June 4th, 2022. My blueberries are planted and ready to go. Isn't that pretty? Now all we have to do is water them. And they're good to go. So my blueberries are planted. It's June 4th, 2022. I got my raspberries. They're planted and they're ready to go i got this whole container filled up with dirt and i think they're gonna do good here i'm gonna get full sun so let's water them thanks for hanging out guys have a good day bye